What's going on guys? Dina here bringing you yet another video very far away today. Hopefully you can hear me properly. I am bringing you my, and I can do this, I have a table that moves, my Christmas haul, Christmas tech haul, just Christmas present haul for 2015. So we're going to start from the left, uh, well, your left side of the table, my right side of the table, go all the way to the right or to the left, depending on which way you're looking at it. Um, I bought, this is presents for myself that I bought, um, cause yes I do buy myself presents. These are presents for my family, uh, my girlfriend, and my Kris Kringle, everything in between, Santa Claus, everyone, uh, all the presents are here, laid out. Let's go through them all. And let's do it in kind of quick fashion, because I don't want to keep you guys here for too long, but I still want to show you guys everything that I got. So first of all, without any further ado, these are Star Wars pajamas that my, uh, sister got me as part of my present, my Star Wars present she called it. She basically went for everything Star Wars related and bought it for me, which I think is pretty cool. Alright, here is a wooden pinboard table, which I just, where's my board? It has a little paddle on it. It works like a, it kind of works like a pinboard table, usually would, uh, with the main goal of instead of just getting as many points, getting the ball into the, uh, the jackpot hole there. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a good little piece to have on the desk, have a have around in a lounger or something. And um, yeah, people are like, oh, that looks so cool. What is it? And then be told. Next is my Star Wars notebook. Uh, this is from my mum, uh, my mum and dad. Uh, but my mum picked it out. We all know. We all know that thing where mum picks out the presents and dad takes all the credit for it. You know what I'm talking about. It's basically a notebook. It has little quotes from our uh, C3PO. Has pictures of R2D2. It's really cool. I'll be using this for college next year when I do go back. All right, so the first of two pop vinyls this year is Finn from the Star Wars Force Awakens, FN2187, is that his number? I'm pretty sure that's his number. Uh, watch the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, is that a spoiler? I don't think so. If you haven't seen the movie by now, you've got problems anyway. But yeah, first pop vinyl, very, very cool. I'll do a, a pop vinyl video eventually uh, with a few pop vinyls that I do have. So yeah, very, very cool. One thing I bought myself, which I just bought from Kmart, it's this little thing here, it's basically a, uh, you put it on your desk, you put your phone on, so it's a little, uh, phone stand for your desk, uh, yeah, it cost me 8 bucks, it was, like, I don't know why it was so cheap, it works cool, you just put your phone on it, I don't know, what else did it say? So the Finpot vinyl was part of my, uh, Chris Kringle present, uh, for, from someone in my family, uh, the other part of their present to me was Ant-Man on Blu-ray, uh, can you guys see that? Wait, yeah, there you go. Ant-Man Blu-ray and the digital copy right there. Very, very cool. I bought myself yesterday when I went for the Boxing Day sales, uh, the Signet, Sygen, Sygenet, I don't know, you know that brand. A 10,000 milliamp power bank. I uh, charged my girlfriend's phone, and when this had 80%, it stand at 64%, and her phone charged... I think to 80% or some of that. Yeah, so it charges a lot. It works cool. And it's very thin as well. It's a little bit heavy, but very thin, which is cool. So as part of the uh, present for my girlfriend, she got me a stocking and it's full of all different candies. I have stuff like Tim Tams. Yes, some of this stuff is open. Uh, these Pepero uh, white chocolate uh, cookie, kind of like Pocky. Uh, the same brand, but this one, this is the same kind of concept, but this one's like a chocolate cookie. Uh, a whole packet of Wonka Nerds. And there's like all these like uh, different candies and other things in here too. Very, very cool. She's trying to make me fat, but um, well, fatter. Hashtag repping the big boys. So from my auntie, uncle and cousins, they got me this book. It's called Hamburger Gourmet. It has, I think it's 50 uh, hamburger recipes or 58 recipes all together. I think 50 of them are for hamburgers. It has chip recipes, the bun recipes. Very, very cool book. They also bought me a JB Hi-Fi gift card, which I then bought myself the uh, power bank with right here. So a little thing my mom bought me, just because she's like, yeah, you know, enjoy it. Uh, it's 100 water balloons that easily fill. So you just put this thing on the pose and they should like, I think it's like 34 water balloons in like 30 seconds fill up or something. It's really, really cool. Um, and when it gets hotter, because it is summer, but it's not that hot right now. When it gets hotter, I will go around and test these. Maybe in a vlog, if I do a vlog about them or something like that. So I have two different calendars for next year. I have a DC Comics calendar and a Star Wars calendar. These are both from uh, Typo. I'm going to put, I decided I'm going to put one in my bedroom and one in my office. Don't know which one's going to go which yet. Because I did have uh, the 
DC one last year, but it is a little bit different this year, uh, which is good. And I haven't had the Star Wars one before, so I'm going to have this one this year for the first time. So yeah, two calendars, I know. Uh, but they're cheaper, like $5 each when you bought something from Typo, so I didn't care getting two. I'm happy with it. My sister got me a, um, a part of the big Star Wars thing I was just talking about. It's called the Dark Side and the Light Side Coloring Book. So one side is like a normal, you know, kind of coloring book. It has different characters, everything like that in there. And then you flip it over, it has Kylo Renly on the front side. And all the pages are in black, and you've got to fill in the uh, white spots instead. It's pretty cool, pretty different idea. I like it, and um, yeah, give me some downtime just coloring in and doing all that fun stuff. Fire, fun stuff. Yeah. An early Christmas present I got for my mum was this retro Apple inspired USB mouse. Uh, it has a scroll on it, but it's it's very lightweight, but it just has that kind of a uh, very non ergonomical look to it, if that's, an, if that's a word. I hope it is. Uh, you guys in the mouse, the old Apple kind of star mouse. It's very cool. It costs like, I don't know how much, but yeah. Merry Christmas to me. The second of the uh, pop vinyls this year is the Glow in the Dark Vault Boy that my girlfriend got me uh, as part of my, my present from her. I really, really like this. And um, the good thing about those ones is they, because he's green, He's gonna light up, he's gonna glow, I guess, uh, really well, which is cool. Another present from her, I think it's like the, it's the main present from her, was the Luna White Xbox One controller, and this thing is beautiful. I haven't actually used it yet uh, to play a game. I might now, I might go out there and play something, but it is just beautiful. Now, the new controllers are a little bit different to the older star ones. I don't know if all these have this new grip in the back, but this one does. And it also has a 3.5mm headphone jack in the front, or the bottom, whatever. Uh, it's beautiful. The triggers are gold, and the D-pad is gold, and everything else is black or white. And only a little bit of colour is in between the uh, buttons, which I wish wasn't really there. But I guess it's for if you don't know uh, what the buttons do. Very, very cool. I'm very excited to start using it and having it look all pretty on my table. Another thing my girlfriend got me, and this one was a complete surprise, I did not expect to get this at all. It is the, uh, the Lego Star Wars Darth Vader. So this is a fully Lego built Darth Vader. He's about 20, almost 30 centimeters high. He has a giant cape in the back. He can be Superman. Just kidding. Um, he has a uh, lightsaber in his hand. He's kind of like the Bionicles, remember Bionicles back in the day, but he is just Darth Vader. So I am definitely going to put him on my Darth Vader little shrine type thing I have up there. He's very cool. I like him. And uh, yeah, it was a huge surprise. I did not expect to get this this year. Very, very cool. Almost done. I'm flying through this today. All right, here we have the uh, First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. My sister got me this. She had no idea what it even was. It's basically a little TIE Fighter, the new uh, style, the new look. TIE Fighter from the First Order from the new Star Wars movie. Uh, this is a Titanium series, uh, Star Wars The Black Series number four. Uh, yeah, she didn't even realize she got me this, but uh, very, very cool. Just to, you know, either take it off the set and be like, <laughs> you know, if you'll be like that. Or you can just put it on the stand, like a normal person, and have it uh, sitting anywhere. Very, very cool. Continuing the Star Wars trend, uh, two pairs of Star Wars socks from my sister. The only socks I would probably accept. Other than the uh, Netflix ones, they sound pretty cool too. But yeah. Alright, so I think this is... No, there's a couple more things. One of the last things from my sister. It is a Stormtrooper helmet uh, ceramic 3D mug. So this thing, I opened it up already. Uh, I'll show you guys, I'm sure, one day. This thing's huge. You can fit a lot of coffee, hot chocolate, whatever it may be inside. Uh, and it looks so damn cool. I will show you guys. I just can't be bothered taking it out now. It's just going to be too much effort. There's like styrofoam and stuff inside as well. Not gonna happen. So, the final two things for my sister. Uh, I got two sets of Star Wars Lego uh, builds. One is the Genesis Troopers and one is the Senate Commando Troopers. They both come, which I think is very cool. They both come with four uh, minifigures. And I think that's the most you can probably get in a little pack like this. I'm gonna build them one day. Uh, even the little, the little builds, probably take about 45 minutes each. I don't know if I'm just a slow builder of Lego, or they, or those little sets take a long time. I don't know, but I will get around to them one day. Uh, one of the last things I bought myself was the light that's actually lighting me up right now. This is the, uh, I did an unboxing of this too, the Yugon, Yonguno Digital YN160 Mark II Pro LED uh, video light. And finally, 
last but very, very not least, from Santa Claus himself, he went out and bought me the Apple TV, the brand new Apple TV. Uh, and it's not actually in this box because yesterday when I got this, um, or two days ago, whatever day it is, I don't know, I actually recorded an unboxing and a how-to video of how to set it up. So those two videos are coming out after this, and if I bring these out one after the other for four days, I think I should be getting them all out before the new year. If not, I'm going to be very upset myself. That's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you click the thumbs up button down below. If you want to know where to get any of these things in particular, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to you with a link specific for what you want. Because like, if I go through and put everything in the description, it'll take me forever. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I do videos like this all the time. I also do unboxings, uh, reviews, how-tos, first taste, and everything in between. I hope you guys had a magical Christmas, and I hope you have a magical New Year. I'm actually going to take time off from filming this, even though I'm going to record, uh, edit all these videos, but I'm not going to record any more things until the New Year, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.